make it. No Megan here, I'm afraid. Though I admit I'm curious who she might be. Who are you? And what are you doing on my ship? Bell Tower keeps two ships in port. They're going to plant that package in Administrator Wang's office. Then you hop in the cargo pod and off you go. And where she make port, I bet you find your scientist. You're the cruise director? Because I've got a complaint. You think you're funny, do you? Well, let's see how funny you feel after Lieutenant Kaitner gets through with you. Lieutenant? It's useless to resist. This chair has a built-in EMP field generator. Your augs are nothing but dead metal right now. Is that so? No doubt they will have reset to Factory Zero. You need a limb clinic. You can't have it both ways, you know. You can't play the good cop when you've been playing the bad cop. <laughs> you think you're clever, don't you? But this ship is heading to a Bell Tower naval base. A military facility for the confinement and interrogation of unprivileged belligerents. And when we get there, we're going to take you apart. You can always try. Trust me, Burke will. He's very good at what he does. Still, when they found you in that cargo container, you did manage to take out a number of highly trained men. Tell me something, Hotshot. Do you enjoy taking people's lives? Not if I'm given the choice. Oh, but you had a choice when you decided to blow up our port. I don't know what you're talking about. Like hell you don't. We may not know who you are, yet. But Burke's running your profile as we speak. High-grade combat spec augmentations, built to be somewhat unnoticeable so you blend in with the sieves. Someone spent an awful lot of money creating you. Lucky me. So I guess the real question is, are you a terrorist? Or some kind of corporate thief? Would you be happier if I told you that I'm neither? You have absolutely no idea of the shit you're in, do you? Rifleman Bank Station is a black site. It's off the grid. No one will come and rescue you. No one even knows where it is. You'll be dropped into a deep, dark hole and never see the light of day again. Stuart Mafroa, tough guy. Commander Burke and I are returning to the base. Keep a close eye on him. You've secured his gear? Yes, sir. Locked in one of the rooms upstairs, sir. Good. And you have your orders. Pritchard. Are you there? Pritchard? Damn it. Reading in sector D6. Monitor. 
Jesus, what is it now? We just got here. Now we gotta move? You'd rather keep standing in an empty passageway? At least this gives us something to do. Come on. Sinking or something? Hey, don't even joke about that. It's like there may be a short circuit on the upper deck. Air ducts. I don't think it's what's affected the camera, though. Either way, we can't do anything about it until we dock. Great. Nothing to do here but watch for rats. Shit, I can't wait till we deploy for Oz. This boring watch duty is killing me. Stop complaining. After a couple months in the outback, you'll be desperate for boring watch duty. Doubtful. I'm itching for some action. I would have loved to have been on board Docking when they found Bay, that guy. Confirmed. Sounds like a hard ass. Hard enough that it got Commander Keitner to fly out here. And Burke. Now there's a hard ass. Yeah, glad I don't have to deal with him too often. Those eyes? Shit. I'll be glad to get out of here for a while. Hello! Stay here, so we... We stay here. Orders are orders. Besides, we're near the base. It won't be long now. Better not be. I'm getting nauseous. Thrusters Christ, it's damp in here. I look at this wall, I can probably kick a hole in it. It's so weak. This place is falling apart. <laughs> Don't try it. I saw a couple of barrels of explosives in the next room. You're kidding me. I know this thing is state-of-the-art and mostly automated, but that's just crazy. Shouldn't that stuff be in the holes or something? There's more important cargo in the holes. You know that. For up here, what damage can it do? Leave some scorch marks? Just shut up and enjoy the rest of the trip. And if you're gonna throw up, do it in the corner. Fuck you.
Sisters fall back, slowing to five knots. Richard, is that you? I'm unlocking the door. You're breaking up. Find the CIC. Oxygen delivery system.
To admit it, they're tough sons of bitches, especially the bird. He doesn't look it, but the guy must be 60. I still wouldn't want to mess with him. Spare me. Are you afraid he'll hypnotize you or something? Get rid of his augs and he's just another old man. Same with all those spec off assholes. They're nothing without their augments. Maybe, but you can't say they aren't effective. I heard rumors about what they did at the pirate town off New Guinea. Scorch. Soon enough for Bert. Bastard couldn't wait the couple hours we held position. Had to fly out and see the stowaway for himself. And bring Titan. I don't think he's just twisted. All that she had to talk pretty hard to be included. Base commander or not, she doesn't carry much weight with Bert and spec off. Well, I hope she learned what she needed to do down in the hole, because once Bert gets this Joker in detention, no one will be hearing from him anytime soon. Good. I was there when we found him. Took out five guys before we could subdue him. So I'm not gonna be losing any sleep over here. Finally, be locking up something. Hey, watch what you're saying. You do not talk about the detainees. You know that. You shut up. CIC laser array active? We've got to make sure everything's by the book from now on. Affirmative. Everything seems to be in order. The CIC is secure. Good. I'm sure there's going to be a security procedures analysis once we dock. Command won't be happy about the breach. Listen, the automated systems were activated. They detected a stowaway and we detained them. Simple. There's no security concern on this ship. I think the concern is over who this guy is and what he's doing here. 
He sure didn't look like any pirate I've ever seen. That's above our pay grade. Let the big heads discuss that. Stabilizing fins deployed. Roll reduced to acceptable values. Richard. Francis Pritchard isn't going to be hearing you anytime soon, Bratan. Not only this close to the base, he's jamming her, eh? Who the hell are you? Someone who's gone to a lot of trouble to make your escape look like accident. So far, your skill at playing the ghost is working in our favor. But it's only a matter of time before those Roddy realize you slipped a brick. Get to the aft cargo bay. Find the sally port there and enter it. You're going to encounter more resistance. But the longer you stay undetected, the better off your future will be. Stay in the CIC and monitor the docking. Then we'll check out the damage and help Brooks guys transfer the stolen. Bank station. Relative. 
Equator to 12 south between 90 and 142, and southward to coast. Occasional rain. Visibility moderate or poor. Access granted. Sea fog warning. Beginning final approach to Rifleman Bank Station. How much longer is it going to be? Can't wait to get off this tub. Hey, we're not done once it's docked. It'll take a few hours to unload the cargo. Then we'll be loading any transfers that have to go out. Great. Then they'll probably want to debrief everyone about the guy we found. It'll be a miracle if we get 15 minutes to ourselves before having to set out again. I me. I've got leave. Two weeks of R&R. &R. Take my chopper out and head for the beach. Lucky bastard. He'll be out on the line of fire. I have a feeling the base is going to be tense for a while. Kite and Burke are going to butt heads with this prisoner. Aft and bow thrusters full back.
gate doors. All personnel prepare for unloading. Sounds like a made-up term to cover our asses. What it means is you keep your mouth shut and you do what you're ordered to do. I believe what I'm told to believe. And if you had any brains, you'd do the same unless you want to join the pop schools of Berg's detention wing. Final approach to Rifleman Bank Station. Activating security scan. I don't know. I haven't seen the requisition. I don't even know 
Access granted. at all. So one guy in center would be worse. They'll always need someone to go out and die for a cause, if only to rile up the civvies. Access granted. Civilian contractors must stay within designated areas. Entering restricted areas will result in termination and prosecution.
credentials must be carried at all times. You may be asked to produce said credentials by security personnel. Please comply. must stay within designated areas. Entering restricted areas will result in termination and prosecution. That's far enough, Jensen. You? You were behind this? I said, that's far enough. I can explain everything if you just stay where you are. Last time we talked, you used me as a punching bag, and now you want a conversation? I didn't exactly have a choice. I had to make it look good, for Burke. Right now, he still thinks I'm on Beltower's side. But the minute he connects me to your escape... That's your problem, not mine. Then Dr. Megan Reed really doesn't mean anything to you, does she? What do you know about Megan? I know the name set off way too many bells and whistles when I added it to Burke's profile search on you. But it helped me to figure out who you are, and why you stowed away on the ship. You think Belltower kidnapped her, don't you? You want to tell me you didn't? I wish I could. But after what I've seen this past year, all I know for certain is she's not on the base. Not anymore. What's that supposed to mean? Not what you're thinking. Listen. Rifleman Bank Station supports all Bell Tower operations in this region, Jensen. Regular contract and special op. Six months ago, I received orders to pull every regular grade soldier and civilian contractor away from the airstrip. Two Black Hawk helicopters set down minutes later. I thought it had to do with Australia, especially when I saw covered stretchers coming out. How many? Five. Guarded by a heavily augmented special ops team. Burke went out to meet the leader and the whole group disappeared inside the detention camp. There's some kind of black project going on in there, Jensen. Something involving prisoners and scientists. And I need you to find out what it is. Why me, Keitner? 
That is your name, isn't it? The one Burke used back on the ship? Natanya Keitner, yes. And it has to be you, because any movements I make are noted and logged. I can't risk blowing cover. Cover? Who are you working for? A few months ago, an Interpol agent approached me. They've had Bell Tower on their radar for some time, but they've never been able to prove anything. The things that agent pointed out about this base, it opened my eyes to a lot of things. So you see, Jensen, I really am playing the good cop and the bad cop. Tell me more about these scientists. Technically, I'm in charge of operations here, so I keep tabs on people coming in and out. Burke keeps meeting with doctors and researchers, telling me it's part of his interrogation technique. You got any names? None that I trust, unless the Doe family suddenly expanded into Australia and Asia. Thing is, I don't always see how they leave. Yet you're sure that Megan did? The Blackhawks did. Without the stretchers, but loaded with five stasis pods this time. I'm gonna need more information than that. Tell me about this Black Project. I wish I could, but it's been classified. So classified every BT suit I've talked to refuses to even acknowledge its existence. But you've seen something. Only the edges. This station is part base, part military stockade, and every week a new shipment of belligerents arrives. Only, Interpol says they're not on anyone's terrorist watch list. Most are just civs. Harmless civs. Burke takes them into a restricted wing of the detention camp and they just... disappear. Fine. What do you need me to do? Hold still for a second. What the- Relax. I'm just compiling your biometric signature. Retinal scan, pulmonary and vascular imaging, the works. Once I upload it to the network and give Corporal Alan Tyler a security rating, you'll be able to pass through specific checkpoints in this sector. Only this sector, why not others? Because you're a fugitive, Jensen. The less room I give you to maneuver in, the more likely it is you'll stay one. I can get you into the detention camp, but the interrogation wing is going to be a problem. Only Burke can give clearances for that. And I assume you don't want me to go ask for one. Still the comedian. There's a security mainframe inside the detention camp central command tower. You'll need to upload this copy of your biometrics there by hand. Contact me using your infolink once you do. Any more questions? I'd like a little clarification here about you and Burke. I take it he outranks you. Technically, yes. But this station is only part military stockade. And while he and his unit have 100% control over the detention camp, I have authority over the base. So I don't need to worry that this is all just some creative attempt at mutiny. Mutiny? You think I'd risk so much because... Listen close, Jensen. Burke is a sexist, chauvinist pig. And yes, he outranks me. He's also been in Bell Tower a lot longer than me, so he's got more connections. Which he's used to undermine me at every turn. But that is not why you and I are standing here right now. People are getting hurt. Innocent people. And we have to find out why and expose it. Exposure could destroy Bell Tower. Bell Tower used to have honor. We do this right, it might again someday. The guards in the prison complex. Are they Burke's men or yours? Definitely Burke's. Highly trained, special operatives. So if you start a firefight in there, don't expect to live long. I'll keep that in mind. I could use some more hardware. Any chance Corporal Tyler will have access to the armory? You're still a fugitive, Jensen. I suggest you keep a very low profile. Still, there is someone who might be able to supply you. One of the base mechanics, a civilian named Quinn. He runs a nice sideline in procurement. I know the type. Why should I trust him? Because I do, and because he has no love for Burke. He's in the lower level maintenance area, near the elevator. He'll get you what you need. I want to help, Keitner, but you're asking me to take a lot of things on faith here. It might be easier if you can show me some hard proof. Burke's got an office in the command center. It'll be locked, but 6325 will get you in. And then? There might be some files on his computer. If he hasn't changed it, his login is P. Burke, spelt with an E. And his password is Theogony313. That's all I need to know. Good. I'll upload to the security network from here, so get going. Alan Tyler will exist by the time you reach the prison security port. Just be careful, and try not to draw too much attention.
Are you Quinn? Yeah, that's me. Jensen, is it? You weren't followed, were you? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I can believe that. They're having a hell of a time keeping up with you. I intend on keeping it that way. Well, you've certainly ruffled a few feathers higher up. It's not like they don't know you're here. Stowed away on the ship, I mean. It's only a matter of time before they bring the hammer down. Put a stop to your gallivant on the base. I just hope I'm not near you when the iron's hot and you're on the anvil. Look, Keitner said you can help me. Can you? Yeah. She told me to be expecting you. I'm just glad you came as soon as you did instead of going off on your own. There's enough kegs of powder lying around here already without throwing another loose cannon in the mix. You know how much we're risking to keep you off the radar? We've only got so much pull around here. It's Burke's show, and he'll do as he bloody well pleases, which means stamping out any rats the moment he gets wind of them. I'm grateful, but can we get on with it? I understand you run a nice little sideline in procurement. Aye. From time to time you might say being inclined to do a little, uh, how should we call it? Bartering. On the side. Since the commander signed off on it, I suppose I could open my stock to you. For a price, that is. You mean I have to pay? What? Of course you have to bloody well pay. I ain't exactly a fucking army quartermaster down here. I'm just a civvy contractor trying to make ends meet. This ain't a bleeding charity. Considering the circumstances... Circumstances? What, that you're a fugitive and I'm risking my neck just talking to you? What are you trying to pull here? Although, I don't suppose you had anything to do with a stasis pod that was saved back on the ship. How do you know about that? Ah, so it was you, eh? Well, let's just say I have me sources and your little random act of kindness didn't go unnoticed. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount on me wares. Just no freebies or handouts. But now that I think of it, if you're looking for a little something for nothing and don't mind a little legwork, I've got an errand that could use running. Consider it a special offer of sorts. Interested? All right, tell me about this special offer. Look. I don't know if you've noticed yet, but this base is packing some serious heat. Especially in the form of those walking brick shithouse boxcars. If you get me a few odds and ends, I might be able to whip up a little something to make getting around easier, if you catch my meaning. What kind of something are we talking about here? Nothing fancy. Just a 329 series NPRS. A rocket launcher? That's right, mate. And custom built. But yours truly, of course. You see, while I might be able to get my fingers on some low-level arms, I'm a little restricted when it comes to military-grade bells and whistles. And I'm itching to try out a new trigger propulsion mix. Maybe even recalibrate the guidance system for some extra punch. I'm not convinced jury-rigged explosives are exactly my style. Look, I'm not telling you how to do your job or anything, but you might want to consider carrying a little extra insurance while you're here. Look, all you gotta do is find me some components. I'll do the rest. An earlier boat had a shipment of 329s. I wasn't able to poach any of them before they made it to the armory. Luckily, little Sparrow and my employee managed to lose one through maintenance circulation. But he got himself shit canned before I could collect. Now my little butte's lying around the base somewhere in bloody pieces. The launcher, I mean, not the wee man. Though, I've no idea really happened to him. Right, so, long story short, you need me to find the parts and bring them back to you. Yeah, that about sums it up, I'd say. Just find me the trigger module, scope assembly, and launcher barrel, and we're in business. I could scrape up the rest from leftovers here in the shop. I think I already found some of the components. Are these them? Hey, let me see what you got there. That's the 329's barrel. And it looks like you also managed to find the trigger module. Just one to go and we're in business. Tell me about the commander, Keitner. Lieutenant commander, officially. But the grunts don't pay no mind to that. She's the commander as far as they're concerned. It's the Reds who stick to the formalities, you see. Because they're Burke's boys, the spooks. Special operations. You might say there's a bit of a division of loyalty among the troops. Between Keitner's men and Burke's? Aye. Since time immortal has always been a rivalry of sorts between grunts and spooks. I always assumed it came down to ego. But it's different here. Probably because Burke's different. What do you mean? Well, for a start, the man might be a righteous prick, but he's got the respect of his men. And the higher ups think he's a visionary based on some fancy tech he drummed up a few years back. In other words, the man's got a lot of influence, and a lot of power, and, uh... Well, I don't think that old proverb needs repeating here. What exactly do you do here, Quinn? In a more civilized world, you might say I pass for the base's lead maintenance engineer. But if you look at it from Beltar's point of view, I might as well just be a glorified janitor. Pay's good, though, so, you know, not complaining. If the pay's good, why the underground market? Well, why not? You see, 
Civilian contractors operate under different jurisdiction when it comes to bringing outside goods into the base. So while the rank and file grunts can only order and receive essentials, toothpaste and the like, I, being the entrepreneurial chap that I am, from a more uh, robust catalogue of goods and services. You know the sort. Smokes, beverages and uh, gentlemen's literature. How does this involve weapons? Now, now let me finish. As an enterprising fellow, I require an exchange of valuables for these slightly less than essential supplies and often receive some very non-civilian contractor regulated equipment in exchange, if you catch me drift. Now, normally, I launder my stock through a contact on the mainland, but a deal in Shanghai recently fell through, so lucky for you, I've got some excess inventory to move. Consider this whole arrangement uh, a matter of fortunate timing. And Keitner is okay with all of this? Uh, not exactly. You see, some time ago, the commander got wind of my little operation down here. But before she could throw me in the brig, I offered her something I knew she couldn't refuse. Information. I ain't bragging, but uh, I managed to build myself quite a little network of sparrows and gophers. I'd known for a while that she'd been at odds with that prick, Burke. In the end, we reached a rather simple mutual agreement. I keep her in the loop, and she keeps my neck out of the noose, so to speak. What can you tell me about this base? Nothing you don't know, probably. To the outside world, it's a bell tower naval logistics headquarters and supply point for their Pacific operations. Beneath the surface, though, it's much, much more. How so? Look, nothing personal yet, but I prefer the commander to most of the informing. As far as I'm concerned, the less I know, and more importantly, the less I say in this matter, the better off we all are. Buy something or bugger off. for shopping at Quinn Mart. Right, so what's the story? It's obvious you're not a bell tower sympathizer. So if there's anything more you can do to increase my odds of getting off this base alive, I'd appreciate it. Because I like you and uh, because seeing you get your arse killed or captured put a damper on me day, I'll open a special stock to you. It's normally reserved for another uh, client, but as long as you're paying. Buy something or bugger off. No refunds.
Access granted. shit because he's in special operations. Access granted.
Access granted. Access granted. Access granted. Access granted.
Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access granted. Jensen, I'm in your detention camp and uploading to the security mainframe now. Copy that. Any problems? Negative. I gotta say, though, this isn't exactly what I was picturing when you described it. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. Right now, you need to get inside the interrogation wing and find out what Burke is hiding. Contact me when you know. Keitner, out.
Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're not one of them? One of the scientists? Please, you've got to get me out of here. You've got to do something before they come back. I don't want to disappear like all the others. It's okay. What's your name? Nina. Nina Sullivan. I don't know why they're holding me in here. They just grabbed me off the street. I heard Cape Town was dangerous, but I thought with all the security around. Cape Town? South Africa? Isn't that where we are? And I blacked out. They drugged me, I think. I was on vacation in Cape Town at the end of the summer. I was going to be starting senior year in the fall, and I wanted to have an adventure. My parents must be so worried. I take it you're not a terrorist, then? No. I've never done anything wrong. Never demonstrated against anything or anything. But neither have most of the girls here. I'm not sure about the men, but please, can't you get me out of here? I want to help you, but you've got to stay calm. 
And what did you mean by disappear like the others? What's been going on back here? I don't know much. I've heard rumors and seen some things, and I know what they've done to me. Biopsies, blood samples, tissue cores, like I'm some sort of lab rat. Is that why you're back here? Separated from the others? Uh, this is where they, they study and examine us to see if we're compatible or something. I don't know what they want from us. Sometimes we're sent back to the cells. Those that aren't. And some of the others think we let them go, but I think they're being sent somewhere else. Another facility, maybe. Somewhere else inside this one. Why? What makes you think that? Because of the way they talk when they're with us. It's like they're looking for some kind of perfect gene match or something. I. Not a doctor. I don't understand it. I just don't want them touching me anymore. Hold on. You said they were coming back? Who? Burke? Is he behind this? I... I'm not sure. He comes around, but not that often. I know he gives the orders around here, but he doesn't seem all that interested in us beyond some psych tests and questioning. He mostly leaves us to the doctors, or scientists, or whatever they are. Tell me about these scientists. Is one of them a woman named Reed? I don't know. I mean, there is a woman, but her name is Kavanaugh, not Reed. I heard the guard call her that. She's... She seems different. Like, she doesn't like what they're doing to us. I can't help but think she's being forced to do these things. The others just treat us like animals. It's horrible. I just want to go home. I know this is going to seem cruel, but I can't help you right now. You're going to leave me here? You can't. You have no idea what it's like. Please. I can't have you tagging along just yet or walking the halls alerting the guards. Trust me, when I can get you out, I will. But your best bet is to stay put. Oh, I'll alert them anyway. Burke and the two doctors were just here heading for the morgue. I'll tell them you're here. I will. Let me out or I'll tell them, I swear. And then what? Do you really think they'll let you go? I'm still the best chance you've got, but you have to be patient. Please. Don't go. Clinical trial log 11 slash 27. Attending, Dr. Tiffany Kavanagh, Dr. Gary Savage. Observing, Commander Peter Burke. Patient has been sedated and restrained. Administering compound P-026, 1.75 cc's. Injection via the left suboccipital triangle, isolating the neocerebellum and pontine nuclei. Well done, doctors. Appears that the spinal cranial replacement was successful. She's been stable for 48 hours. Placing the upper column and posterior skull is more complex than your own hindbrain augmentation, Commander Burke. But it's well within our abilities. That's not our sticking point. I'm quite aware of what your sticking point is, Doctor. Getting results that I can use. Gary? Gary, she's waking up. Look at the alpha waves. They're attenuating. Blood pressure and heart rate are rising. O2 saturation is really low. Savage, get this under control. Tiff, increase sedation and disconnect the OCM interface. Get a dose of propofol ready, see if she stabilizes. It's not working, Gary, damn it! There's a rupture in the circle of Willis. Anterior cerebral artery. Shit, shit! I've got to get in there! It's already too late, Tiffany. You know that. Is it still alive? No. Now we've lost her. I don't understand. She burned out so quickly. Arterial degeneration was clearly more advanced than anticipated, but still, the new compound should have worked. Dispose of the body. I'll have the next viable candidate prepared and sent down to you, Dr. Kavanaugh.
So what did these ones die of, Savage? A complete neurological breakdown from the looks of it. Organ collapse, nerve degradation. Find him. There's been some trouble on the base. My man will take care of it. You were saying? We may be looking at serious cross-systemic failure issues with the OCM. It's those god-awful implants, Gary. The whole inhumane procedure. After a while, it just burns them out. Has this been happening at the other sites? We've experienced some die-off, yes. But I've been told Dr. Reed's research may offer a breakthrough. If we could bring her back here... That's not going to happen. Then we need to start considering other options. A nanotech-based solution performed on willing volunteers. And are you volunteering yourself, Doctor? Tiffany, please. I need to look at the raw data, Commander. If you would. I turned a blind eye to your little office romance, Savage. But if she becomes a problem, she will be volunteering. Kaidner. I found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. However, Burke's eyes are enhanced, Jensen. He uses special retinal prostheses custom made for him by the Tai Young Medical Corporation. You want me to remove Burke's eyes? Not the ones he's currently using. He just received a new set this evening for when the cargo ship docked. With any luck, you'll find it in his office. Kitener out. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. Listen, we'd all like to be in the middle of the action in Oz, but we're stuck here. It's better than policing civilians like Jonesy. Isn't he stationed in China? Drag that must be. I don't know. Anxious sounds like a fun time at least. Especially in Lower City. There's a hotel there. Full service girls. You know what I mean? Maybe you're right.
wouldn't have to deal with Burke and his asshats at least. I don't envy Commander Geithner. She has to deal with this crap daily. Keep it down! Jesus. I know we saw him go to the detention block, but who's to say he hasn't bugged the hall outside his office or something? For being paranoid. Besides, what would he do? Keitner still runs this base, and she has our backs. Geithner, I've got the eye, but it's not going to fool a retinal scanner unless it's attached to an optic nerve. I know that, Jensen. I do have a plan. Take the eye down to Quinn. He'll know what to do. Geithner, out. Prosthetic eye, one of Burke's. We need it to get past a retinal scan, but it's useless like this. Aye. Without an active neural connection, it might as well be an expensive paperweight. <laughs> may as well put a gobstopper in front of the scanner for all the good that thing will do you. Solutions, Quinn. Think you can handle this? Lad, I may be just a mechanic, but I'm also the only thing keeping this whole bleeding facility from sinking into the abyss. Think I can manage a simple optic frequency bypass. Just let me get me tools. Right. So that's it now. You got the eye. Sorry it took a little longer than I expected. Nearly break the damn thing once or twice. New TYM firmware and such. Now don't go fucking around with it. It's only got a limited lifespan due to the temp power source I rigged. It's only good for one use. Got it? Why only one use? Without being hooked up to a proper battery, like your brain. The voltage spike from a single scan will trip the surge protectors, shutting it down to prevent further transmissions. It's a redundant safety mechanism built into the optic nerve to prevent frying your noggin in a dorsal ventral feedback loop. Short of putting the thing in your own head, which I ain't exactly equipped to do, there's no way around it. Besides, I think the commander preferred this way. Is it supposed to be moving? Aye. Bloody creepy, that is. Try not to pay it any mind now. Thing's stuck in calibration mode. Trick is, I got it thinking it's plugged into a new host. And by rerouting the system diagnostic checks, it'll keep trying to connect without detecting anything to miss, which in turn keeps it alive in a manner of speaking. Fucking brilliant piece of engineering work, if I don't so myself. This is pretty impressive work for a mechanic, Quinn. What's that supposed to mean? There's more old Quinn than meets the eye. No pun intended. You wouldn't be the first fool to underestimate my know-how. Well, there's more to this job than just a simple battery swap. I saw you modifying the BIOS. This is state-of-the-art hardware and software. You're not just a mechanic. You're a hacker. What are you going on about now? Ain't nothing you couldn't pull off with a degree in computer engineering and a little elbow grease. Come off it now. You ain't got time for this. Well, hopefully this thing works. It'll work just dandy so long as you don't do something stupid like drop it. And it ain't a bloody webcam. So don't try using it to spy the knickers up someone's skirt. Got those parts for me? Yeah, take a look. Hey, let me see what you got there. Fucking deadly. That's all of them. Give me a sec with me tools, I'll get them sorted out right and proper. Right then, that'll do you. Anything else I can be helping you with then? Buy something or bugger off. No refunds.
Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access granted. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find.
quite the house of horrors you got here, Doc. You letting anyone in, or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you, you don't understand. I'm not... Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage? Burke went back up to the base. And Gary... Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Um... Kavanagh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant, and by then, by then it was too late. OCM. Savage used that term in the morgue. What does it mean? Organic Computational Matrix. It's a means of cross-connecting living brain tissue and artificial intelligence systems to create a supercomputer of unparalleled capability. Part flesh, part silicon. That's what you're doing down here, turning prisoners into computer parts. Human brain activity has to be integrated with the technology, or else it won't work. Even DARPA knew that. What does DARPA have to do with this? Nothing. Not directly. In 2007, they started looking for research partners to help develop an artificial cognitive science program that could increase a soldier's situational awareness in the field. A number of private sector companies submitted proposals. Bell Tower being one of them. No. Bell Tower was a private military corporation. DARPA wanted researchers. But one of the companies who did submit something was a biotech corporation that deals with Bell Tower. And they believed a successful program could be designed if it could be wired directly into the soldiers' brains. DARPA wasn't willing to go that far. So this biotech company took the idea to Bell Tower. A corporation that, being privately funded, doesn't have to concern itself with political or ethical debate. Just how many prisoners are being wired into this thing? I... I don't know. But a lot of them don't seem to survive for more than a year. I've told the others there's no way this project can stay viable with these kinds of numbers. But the OCM computers have to have them to work. Computers? You mean there's more than one of them? There's... several. This is just where the process starts. The factory floor. We select the candidates here, implant them, and ship them to the other locations. It's all very efficient. Yeah, except your candidates keep dying. You seem to think Megan's research is integral to salvaging this project of yours. Why? It's not my project. Had I known before I came here... Right, just answer the question. <sighs> We're experiencing cross-systemic failures with the tech. Over time, subjects implanted with OCM augmentations suffer complete neurological breakdown. They... they pretty much burn up from the inside. Gary thinks it's a problem with the acceptance of the P-dot array. I've heard that phrase before. It's the building block of modern neuro-augmentations. Dr. Reed's been reshaping it, changing the way it bonds with living tissue. The mutagenic gene combination she's introduced into it will... Frankly, it's astonishing. Enough to warrant her kidnapping? So she'd be forced to work on this project with you? She's not on this project. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. This is the first time anyone's ever mentioned kidnapping. You're really gonna stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were gonna make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I... I can't! There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really going to do this? <laughs> you... you can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. Burke... 
keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. Well, you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god. I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right. Fine. But, Mr. Jensen, please, hurry. Keitner, contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep-sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is willing to turn whistleblower if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. Keitner, what the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Burke must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. Keitner! We really broke open a hornet's nest, didn't we, Jensen? It's bad. You need a medic. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Got those coordinates, Jensen. 
But Burke figured it out. Seized control of the station and locked down the detention camp. Bastards cleaning house. I've got to get Kavanaugh out. Can't. Not until you stop the gas. What gas? Burke's enacted a scorched earth protocol to stop the truth from getting out. Poison gas in every cell. Lab two. Unless you stop it. Stay with me, Keitner. There's a circuit board underneath the prison command tower. It directs the flow. Everything's connected, but might be able to redirect. The whistleblower has to live, Jensen. Only sure way. We stop this. Keitner? Keitner! level is dropping. Countdown. You found a way to save everyone, Bratan. What? The hacker from the ship. You've been listening this whole time? Like Zietke said, everything's connected. You'll still need to unlock the submersible so our whistleblower can go free. It'll be touchscreen in the command tower. It'll also let you back inside the base. And why would I want to go there? Use your head, Tuvok. The last thing standing between you and Megan Reed is Burke. Kavanaugh, 
I've unlocked the hatch and I'm transmitting the coordinates to a rendezvous site. Oh, thank God. I thought when the code yellow started... It's over. Just make sure Interpol gets that evidence. I'm going after Burke. Jensen out. Adam Jensen. That's right. I know who you are now. Katna wasn't quite as good at hiding her tracks as she thought she was. You're clever. I'll give you that. Most men aren't capable of seeing beyond the choice in front of them. But whatever you think you've done, it's of no consequence. Helping that fool Kavanaugh escape, saving the lives of a few worthless civilians, it won't change anything. All you've done is make yourself a target. The Reed woman, this Megan you've been searching for, she's not here. And the only thing standing between you and the ship that could take you to her is me. I underestimated you back on the ship. I won't be doing it again. Lot, you there? Quinn? Where are you? Getting the ours out of Dodge. Burke's had enough. And he's gunning for you. And I don't intend on being caught in the bloody crossfire. But listen, that trick you pulled with the gas, fucking brilliant work that was. Head to me shop. I left you a thing or two so you can give him hell. I'd like to say we'd meet again over a pint sometime, but, well, Godspeed, mate. If you feel any better about Katner's death, I doubt you had any intention of sending you on to the good doctor.
Access In some ways, the two of us are probably quite similar. But I question your foresight, your courage to make difficult decisions.
curious. How far do you think Dr. Reed would go for her research? I think you'd be surprised, Jensen. are almost over, Bratan. Is Brock dead? I'm standing. He's not. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, you don't make things easy, do you? Still, with Brock out of the picture even briefly, as a power vacuum I can use, a return to Loading Bay 2. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward our location as we speak. If you hurry, you can be on it. Bratan. Quinn? I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. Shrouded. She saw what she needed to see, and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns. Except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. Your actions ensured her sacrifice was not made in vain, however. Dr. Kavanaugh made it out safely, and is on her way to the rendezvous site. She will expose the truth in due time. And the prisoners? Ah, yes. The prisoners. With Kavanaugh out, it's only a matter of time before this base makes international headlines. Until that time, however, I cannot say what Bell Tower will do next. I only know that a cornered and desperate bull is a very dangerous beast. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. I still have questions, Quinn, and I want answers. Real answers. No more bullshit. You really want to waste time chatting, Bratan? Fine. I will answer what I can, but keep in mind you have a boat to catch. Keitner said she had been approached by an agent from Interpol. It was you, wasn't it? Very astute. When I learned of Commander Keitner's suspicions and insubordinate behavior towards Burke, I saw an opportunity. Pretending to be an agent of Interpol seemed the best way to gain her trust. You mean you lied? So who do you work for? A loose network of independent operatives, agents of conversion and equilibrium, who seek to expose corruption and assure humanity's natural progress. In truth, we are not affiliated with any global organization. But then, neither is our enemy, officially. Your enemy? You're not just talking about Bell Tower anymore, are you? 
you're talking about? The men and women who pull Beltar's strings. The same men and women who ordered them to kidnap Megan Reed. Belltower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. How do you plan on keeping what we did here a secret? I'm delighted to say that Burke did most of the damage control for us. After requesting the profile search on you, he never explained why he needed it. I believe he wanted to keep control of you to himself. Since that time, we've been monitoring all incoming and outgoing communications, and the lockdown allowed me to discreetly install a tunneler, rerouting the base's network traffic. By the time Beltar realizes something is wrong, It'll already be too late. What about the rest of the base personnel? Most of them think Burke is still in command. Technically, orders continue to be issued in his name. But I'm the one making the calls. I've also taken the liberty of cordoning of this sector of the base. For the moment, at least, we're safe. Burke isn't exactly dead. And once he wakes up, it's gonna get ugly. Like I said before, you haven't made things easier for us. But they haven't forgotten that small detail. For now, Buck remains contained. Once you're off the base, I'll find a more permanent solution. Mr. Jensen, allow me to stop you there before you say anything that might embarrass us both. What? Please. I detected your Cassie augmentation the moment you started to analyze my facial movement for pattern sequencing. But back in your workshop... All part of the game. Think nothing of it. As much as I enjoyed your clumsy attempts at persuasion the first time around, We'll just move on from here, now. Pretending you managed to convince me to be more forthcoming with my words. What is it you hope to learn? Something more tangible than a flowery speech about idealism. Because I admire your tenacity, I will attempt to satisfy your curiosity. But only if you'll humor me for a moment and answer a question of my own. Sounds fair. In Roman mythology, Janus was a god depicted as having two heads, each gazing in the opposite direction. One looking eastward, the other west. Symbolically, this meant many things to the Romans. But I'm more curious as to what it might mean to you. Seeing into the past and the present. The beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega. I believe you and I have more in common than you would like to admit. Technically, I suppose there is no incorrect answer. Theologians and philosophers have debated the origin and meaning of Janus for millennia. But in time, that name may take on new meaning for you. Why? What are you getting at? While the term invisible war has lost much of its significance due to misappropriation, I assure you, there has never been a better way to describe what is happening in the world. The lives of millions are being decided without a drop of blood ever spilt, but the casualties remain the same. Myself and others are fighting a never-ending battle against forces that seek absolute dominion over our fates. You're telling me the people running Bell Tower want to rule the world? Bell Tower Associates is no more than a proxy. Puppets on a global stage. The true enemy hides in shadows. The disembodied hands that pull the strings of Bell Tower and others. This is neither the time nor the place to go into detail, but everything you've witnessed here today is in direct correlation with Illuminati interests. <sighs> Roman gods and Illuminati. Wonderful. You asked for clarity, and I'm being as honest as I can. Whether you choose to acknowledge them or not, lines are being drawn. Most will never be lucky enough to pick a side, but a time will come when you will have to. I have chosen mine. All right. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain, but what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Kavanaugh said this was just the factory floor. You're sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, Ned. It'll be grand. Besides, 
I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset. It's done. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands, and we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. Assuming he lives that long.